lesson is about gender stereotyping. This is health and family life education class. When we talk about comprehensive sexuality education, we're talking about a really wide range of subjects, of topics and of themes. Comprehensive sexuality education will be key to ensure that the world can reach the SDGs, including SDG 3 on health, SDG 4 on education and 5 on gender equality. It's said that if you close your eyes to the fact, then you have to learn through accidents. And that is what we want to avoid. We have issues of defilement and rape because parents are still shrouded in the old adage that you don't talk about sex. Teenage pregnancy, unwanted pregnancy, denial of women's control over their own bodies, all of that is something that in an age-appropriate way, children should be learning about. How do we feel about these stereotypes? Are they accurate? When we come together around this subject, it really enables us to be empathetic and to actually realize the importance of CSE. Young people have a right to information that's not only life-saving, but is going to add to their ability to have a healthy, pleasurable sexuality. Investing in sexual and reproductive health and rights, including through comprehensive sexuality education, unleashes a girl and woman's potential. Comprehensive sexuality education also promotes nonviolence and respect for bodily integrity and consent. We have a unique opportunity to have education as an entry point to address patriarchy. It's okay to have beliefs, but when we start to impose a lot of those beliefs on other persons to the point that it limits who they are as a person, then it becomes a problem. Especially for girls, it's important to empower them and equip them with life skills based education so that they feel very confident and empowered to be the agents of change. We're all from different countries, but there are so many similarities and it's really to empower students to make better decisions. We have an important task in front of us to hold our policymakers accountable to ensure that we leave no one behind when it comes to comprehensive sexuality education. There are governments, there are ministers, there are people who want to work on this because they know it's the right thing to do. You can have more gender equal societies, young people with better health, and that we're all contributing and working towards a common goal in partnership together. Our joint work on comprehensive sexuality education is the best example how UN agencies can work together. Governments, whether they're left or right, they should consider the necessity of young people because the human body is not changing. I think that it's time that we start to identify national, regional and global champions for CSE. As the Secretary General on Voyon Youth, I will be a strong advocate for comprehensive sexuality education. When young people are equipped with knowledge on how to transform these values into practice, we make quite a big step forward towards gender equality. Yeah.